This video is sponsored by SeatGeek. On this ticket app, you have access to cheap NBA tickets. Use the discount code EASYBUCKETS for $20 off your first purchase. With NBA free agency around the corner, the Golden State Warriors have a few decisions they must make. We all know that both Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson will both be missing the majority of the next season. Kevin Durant will probably be out the whole entire season. So finding a good replacement for these two superstars are on the must-do list for the Golden State Warriors. Another tough situation for the Warriors right now is that there are rumors out there Kevin Durant will be re-signing with another team. Could be the Nets, the Knicks, the Clippers. The point is, the Warriors should be prepared for any worst case scenarios. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. This is three free agents the Warriors should sign if Kevin Durant ultimately decides to leave. If you are new to the channel and love basketball, be sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss any of my upcoming videos just like this. Assuming that Kevon Looney, Alfonso McKinney, and Quinn Cook, all three young players of the Warriors, return to the team, these are three other free agents that I think are the best choices for the Golden State Warriors. So the first player on this list is Harrison Barnes. Last year, Harrison Barnes played for two teams. He played for the Mavericks and the Sacramento Kings and averaged 16.4 points, 4.7 rebounds, 1.5 assists, and 2.3 three-pointers made a game. The reason why Harrison Barnes is on this list is because Harrison Barnes is a player that can create his own offense, create his own shot, and is still developing into his prime. Of course, Harrison Barnes was previously a member of the Golden State Warriors the year they actually beat the record of the most wins in the regular season. He already has good chemistry with Curry and Draymond Green. He is the best case scenario for the Warriors because when Clay is out for most of the season and KD leaves, Harrison Barnes is going to be a big, important role on offense. We have seen it in Dallas that he could actually carry an offense and score about 20 points a game. And also, his three-point shots is actually getting a lot better. He scored 2.3 three-pointers made a game, and his spreading the floor could actually fit in well with the Golden State Warriors system. Barnes could play the three or the stretch four, which would be great to play alongside Draymond Green. So in my personal opinion, Harrison Barnes is the best case scenario. The Warriors should definitely target him. He is also probably one of the most expensive out of the three players on this list. But still, guys, if Kevin Durant doesn't resign, they still got some money. I don't expect any team to be giving Harrison Barnes a max contract. He could be worth $10 to $15 million, but not anything more. The next player we got is Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay is a veteran small forward power forward in the league, guys, and can be a great support system in the offense to any team. Rudy Gay has a lot of history and injuries, but the point is, he's not going to be very expensive. Any team would love to have Rudy Gay on board, and I believe the Warriors should hop on that as well. The reason why I believe Rudy Gay will be a great asset is because whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he could be a good 50 points a game player. Rudy Gay can do everything on the floor. He can shoot the mid-range, shoot the three-pointer, also get to the foul line, and also has pretty decent defense. He played it with the Spurs last year and averaged 13.7 points, 6.8 rebounds, 2.6 assists, guys, and shot 50% field goal and showed that his efficiency has increased. He would be a great player to come off the bench for Iguodala or even start over Iguodala because Rudy Gay can also create his own offense. What's most important is that Rudy Gay is not going to be very expensive. I don't see any team paying him more than $10 million. And the last player on this list is Bojan Bogdanovic. Bojan has proven to everybody that he can score the ball and can be a great asset to any NBA team. He is still young and has a lot to prove in the NBA and if he wants to be able to prove himself and if he wants to join that championship conversation where he's played for a championship team, been a part of a championship and winning era, then joining the Warriors might be a good idea for him. Because last year he averaged 18.0 points, 4.0 rebounds, 2.0 assists, shooting 49% of field goal as a shooting guard and small forward, he is definitely on many teams to target list this free agency. After the injury of Victor Oladipo when he was out for the rest of the season, he actually scored 21.1 points when Depo was gone. The point is, Bojan could be a great offensive addition to the Golden State Warriors because when Clay and KD are off the team and out of the situation, Curry is going to need a lot of help in that scoring category. And I believe Bojan could definitely fill that spot because he is still young, he can spread the floor, and he has a lot to learn. And playing with the Warriors will help him develop as a better player, no doubt. Alright guys, well basically that wraps up my video on the three free agents the Golden State Warriors should sign if Kevin Durant ultimately decides to leave. If you love the video and agree to my opinion, be sure to smash that thumbs up button guys. But what's most important and the best thing about the basketball community is you guys have an opinion as well. So put your opinions down in the comment section down below. What you guys think? Should the Rockets target Jimmy Butler? Will he be a good fit? Let me know. Once again, if you're new to the channel and love basketball, be sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss any of my upcoming videos just like this. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Easy Buckets. Woo! Ooh,
like Usain in the cheetah print Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute Okay, let's proceed with it I'm in the house, got a deed with it These bozos always sneak this And they taking shots, I'ma keep with it Like, no, no, this league business